You're tuned into the Midday Show on KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at KEXP.org. And we are super excited to have live in studio today, Alabama Shakes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.
Shakes live on KEXP. That sounds phenomenal, and we're so delighted to have you live in studio today. Thank you again so much, all of you, for coming today. Yes, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Um, you know, you came on our radar less than a year ago, and we're wondering, did we miss the boat early on, or is this band new? Can you tell me a little bit about how long you've been together, how you met, how it all came? It seems like every time I read a little bio of the band, there's one new member <laughs> or one more person. <laughs> Um, we're about three years old, isn't that right? Almost. Yeah, close to three years. Old. Toddlers. <laughs> Toddlers. <laughs> we uh, we started playing together uh, well, about two and a half years ago, and um, we just threw it together real quick to open for a band that Heath was in at the time. We had like two weeks preparation, um, put together about a forty-minute set, and it was well received. So we kept playing, and uh, uh, things started to take off. I guess last summer. Your sound is definitely steeped in classic 60s Southern soul, but you've got a real punk rock edge going on there. And I heard that at one point you guys used to jam to a lot of covers. Is that because your, your original songs are such strong, strong songwriters? Is that how you kind of came together as a band or is that just something fun you did? We, well, we always wrote songs like, you know, it started off. It was me and Zach when we were still in high school and he would come over to my house and, and we would just like, I don't know show each other how to play and stuff we learned and stuff we liked. And that's really how it started. So we were always writing, but like when Heath called for us to open up for his band, we just threw together some covers and I think we really learned how to play with one another by, you know, trying to pick out songs to play. Like It was good practice. Yeah, it was definitely good practice, but like, you know, one of us might like this ACDC song and another one of us might want to play this Otis Redding song. But the cool thing is we could all agree on one of those songs by one of them artists. So. I think that really helped us uh, learn how to play with one another. Plus, it was kind of necessary to play covers at the beginning because nobody knew who we were. That was the only way a crowd could really relate at mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, nobody cares <laughs> where we're from about original music. <laughs> it's kind of true, though. I mean, people are starting to change now. But if you wanted to play, you had to play covers. They didn't want to hear anything you had to say, really. Well, you're great songwriters. Your songs are so strong, and I have been singing along to the four songs on the Alabama Shakes EP for what seems like ages now, and very exciting to hear two new songs right off the bat here today. Tell me a little bit about your upcoming album. I know it's called Boys and Girls, and it's coming out here in the U.S. on April 10th. And uh, tell me about it, how you made it, when you made it, some things maybe going on there in the sound. Well, we started working on this album in January of last year, and it was something we were just going to do for ourselves to have. Um, really didn't have any major plans or expectations for it. Um, we went and we recorded like five songs right off the bat the first night. And it so happens those songs are going to be on this album. And I know not everyone's heard like a lot of the kind of thing that we're doing. That's why I'm so excited about this album coming out because it's not just like retro soul music. It's everything we like. And I'm excited people are going to hear it and they get to pick out you know, oh, that sounds like this. You know, I listen to that, too. It's going to be cool. It really does have um, it, it, its own kind of sound. It reminds you of a lot of things you love, but I've never quite heard anything like it, and it's ga grabbing the attention of a lot of people. I read somewhere that you had a single coming out on Jack White's Third Man uh, label, and, in fact, yesterday I got a single in the mail, and I ripped it open hoping that that was going to be it, and it wasn't. Has that come out yet? Or? I believe it comes out in February. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah I think the end February, is that right? Sounds right. Yeah, it's two live songs we did at a concert there. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, so what's coming up for you guys? Have you spent a lot of time on the road? Is the next couple years going to be uh, really busy for you? And do you like being out there and playing every day and moving around? I love being out and playing, but uh, it's hard being away from home as well. Um, we've been out uh, about two weeks now, and I think we go home another week and I'm I'm t 
tickled to death to get home to see my kids. So that's how that is. But I love going out and playing as well. So. And where is home? Alabama. Where else? Alabama. <laughs> I read, is it Athens, Alabama? Oh, Athens. That's right. The other Athens. <laughs> or the original <laughs> Athens, maybe. Well, we're excited to have you here in Seattle. It's your first show in Seattle. You're playing the Crocodile tonight, and I saw that you're heading over to the U.K. in a couple of weeks. Is that your first time playing outside North America? Well, we, we played Canada, actually. North America. Oh, North America. <laughs> I, almost said, I almost said the U.S., but you that's You should right. have, because that would have made me look better. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid I'd look bad. Um, but is, are you excited to head over there? Yeah, that will be our first time playing out of North America. Very, very excited about it. That's fun. Well, we're super excited to have you here. We want to thank you all so much for coming by. And my southern accent always comes out. It just takes about two minutes talking to a band from the south. But um, you'll be at the Crocodile tonight. And if you have time, we'd love to hear a couple more songs.
Alabama Shakes live in studio here at KEXP, sounding phenomenal. And man, Brittany, what a voice you have. I had goosebumps the entire time you were singing. Well, thank Incredible. you. That's good. Thank you so much. And you're playing tonight at the Crocodile and a new album, your debut full length coming out in April, Boys and Girls. And you're going to be down at South by Southwest as well. That's right. So I get to see you a few times in the coming months. I'm looking forward to every one of them. Thank you again so much. Thank you, Thank you so you. much for having us. Alabama yes. Shakes live on KEXP Seattle. <laughs> 